Okay. These are all four of the doors finished. Irene is applying the finish on the doors. And uh, I think they look great. Um, now there are slight little gaps in each of them, you know, in places, but they're, they're minuscule and they're meant to be barn doors. They are barn doors, they're not really finished high-end doors. It's not the look we're going for. So, but this is all almost 100% wood that we made on our sawmill. The only exception are on the outside of every door. Bam, bam, right? The outside uh, boards are uh, of pine that we got from the lumber store. It's actually this stuff right here. It's, um, it's like pine siding stuff, right? The reason uh, we did that is because all of our stuff, um, the sweet gum, and the hickory wasn't quite straight enough to go i mean that's almost seven full feet uh in in height right there and so we would have been wasting a lot of wood because it was bowed so these were straighter that's why we use them for the outside edge the rest of the stuff is all cut right here in the middle they're not full length if they were full length, then we would have had the same problem with them bowing tremendously. So we cut them. Every time you cut them, you're, you're taking uh, the bow out. The shorter the piece is, the less of a bow it can possibly have. And then we ran them through the planer, I'm sorry, the uh, uh, jointer or the edger to get them as straight as we could. And uh, they, you know, we got pretty darn straight, pretty good, you know, and they look fantastic. This sweet gum, um, whenever you cut it small, the smaller you cut anything, the less it's going to crack and split on you. Because the reason it cracks and splits is because you have an amount of wood that wants to go this way and an amount of wood that wants to go this way. And well, they end up cracking and splitting in the middle. Um, so the smaller you make it, there's less wood to fight against the other wood. Um, so anyways, this door is the special door and the best door, we think. And it is the one that will go as our main bedroom door because it can actually be seen from the living room. And the reason we like this one better, if you can't tell, let's see. This, not nearly as much grain and stuff going on as this one. And this is all hickory. It's pig nut, pig nut hickory and um, man it looks stunning it it just looks really good now we didn't have enough pig nut hickory to make the entire door and i didn't want to cut into my really good um boards like i have some really good like eight inch boards by inch and a quarter thick out of this hickory that i want to save for a different project so what i did was in between in places this 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 and this, all of those are sweet gum. So the sweet gum inner, you know, dispersed within there, one, two, three, four boards of sweet gum, right? And uh, it looks good. You know, the, the hickory is so much kapow with its grain that you can hardly even tell that there's sweet gum intermixed in there. And, um, you know, even if you can tell, it's fine. It looks good. So. That's it. Thought I'd show you guys. And uh, we're loving it. Can't wait to hang these. And I'll show you whenever I get them hung in the hallway.